Do you ever have those those uh, days where you're like, you know what, this might be the day that I just, you know. Never. 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 That's good. Derek Carter. You need the party starter. Hey, everybody. It's Darren Carter, the party starter. I'm in the Inland Empire. And a man who is keeping comedy alive for well over eight years. He hosts the show. The show has an interesting name. Here he is. Johnny, Johnny, tell the name of your show. What's up, Darren? What's up? What's up, everybody? Especially everybody out there. Hope you guys are having a good day. My name is Johnny Herrera. I host Hilarious Comedy. And one of my mottos is laugh now, smile later. The world definitely needs <laughs> laughter. And I believe in laughing now, smile later. Why do I believe in that? You can go to a comedy club. You can have a horrible 8 to 10 hour work day. Enjoy a show for about an hour, hour and a half. Laugh the night away. Drive home with your family and friends and start smiling and think about the jokes that were said or start reminiscing, okay? Laugh now, smile later. And I love doing what I'm doing. Hosting is definitely a number one thing and most important in comedy, okay? Hosting. I like to book funny to make money. It's my hobby, not my jobby, okay? I'm <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's not a hobby. It's my jobby. I love doing what I do. Laughter is definitely needed right now. I have people coming out to the show where there's this gentleman that comes and brings in his kid. He has his kid wearing his headphones and he's on his YouTube kids or whatever. The father, everyone likes to look at him and go, oh, that's a horrible dad right there. First of all, but during times right now at the pandemic, a lot of people don't have money, can't afford a babysitter. Comes out, maybe just wants a burger and fries and get his laughter on. On. Don't judge, especially with people wearing masks, whether they're inside the audience, they have their mask on or they don't. The most important thing is they're there with you to get their laugh on, okay? Also, too, I've done a show where a gentleman was ready to commit suicide, got on his Harley wow. and said, hey, I'm ready to just drive into a wall, but before I do, I'm going to get a couple of drinks on. Where did he go? He went to a pub. That night was my comedy show hour an hour and a half later came up to me gave me a big hug and said you changed the rest of my night i was gonna go drive into a wall my father had died i was ready just to go right wow. now but now you know what i'm gonna stay here i know there's a reason for me so that's laughter is definitely man. needed you guys definitely laughter is definitely needed that's don't what I, judge nobody I, I was gonna say that's what i like about your comedy your, your hosting ability you know what i mean like you keep it very positive like when the guy was there with the headphones yes. on like a bad host would be like you know make fun of the guy with the headphones right and, and i like how you said listen let's think outside of ourselves it's been a tough time maybe this guy can't afford a babysitter we don't know what he's going through exactly and he you wants know. to be just like us and enjoy an amazing time so yeah don't judge whether they're wearing a mask or if you see a parent with their kid, hey, the kid had earmuffs on, on YouTube kids, the dad needed to get their laughter on, you guys. It's all definitely needed right now. Come out, enjoy the show, tell your family and friends, and let's get back to the normal, if you know what I mean. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Do you have any other good tips if someone were to host a show, like yes. a way to a just, approach the... Just a couple of good tips. Um, be on your toes. Be ready. Watch the whole show. You may never know what's going to happen. you got to be on your feet. Stay positive. You want the audience to feel welcomed. If you went into someone's home and you didn't know who the guest or the host was, you were going to go do what? You're going to sit right on the couch like this and not know what to do. Make sure you're a good host. you got to get that body like language this, You know in. what I'm saying? you got your little cup of punch <laughs> and you don't know what's going on. Yeah. you get your friends over there. you know, you got people talking because they know each other. Make sure the audience is welcomed. You know, you're coming into, they're coming into a comedy club. They don't know anybody, but make Make them feel at home. And I love that. I love that. I love what you also said. You said it's like, uh, hey, listen, if they, you know, don't divide the audience. Don't bring up hot button, you know, because some, some hosts that don't do a good job, they, they go right into that, you know, and all of a sudden people start judging each other. And, you know, I love what you said. You said, let's bring people together and have a I, good I, time. And I, I mean, I totally agree. I, I, a couple more points though, as a hosting, you know, we were talking about this. The host makes the show. So if the host goes up on stage and starts talking dirty, sexually, using profanity, the audience already is go great. Is this how the show is going to go? Make them feel welcome. Make them feel like, oh, I cannot wait for the next comedian. I cannot wait for this show to get going. The host is the most important thing. The host makes the show. The host passes the baton. <laughs> the baton gets That's passed right, on buddy. to the next comic, then to the <clears throat> next comic. It gets escalated like this. And then Usain Bolt comes on and just headlines it. Boom, and crushes baby. it. And <laughs> Boom, the host throws up the, sh the point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the yeah. The headliner comes in and just taps Bam! it in, baby. That's all it is. I love, the, I love the teamwork. name. Teamwork makes the dream work. That's another one, it. right? There it is, baby. What's the... Um, the, the the idea with you the name of your show is called Hair Larius. Hair Larius comedy. Hair Larius entertainment. Definitely. I'm the Hair Larius host. I love hosting. Like I said, man, I love bringing people. I love together. it. If you guys haven't caught on the why it's called Hair Larius, it's because. <laughs> yeah, I got a question. I got a question about the hair. You know, I'm uh, coming from a. I'm a bald American. Oh, there we go. And, uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> hold up. Wait. wait <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I, man, I gotta tell you, I shave my head about once every three days in normal times, and then during this time, I haven't really, you know, needed to, so I might go once a week. But I get a haircut every three days, and I gotta tell you, it's it's uh, it's life changing. It just feels good. I, feel I clean. bet. How how uh, often do you how often do you do you get a haircut, or or how does that work? I've actually been growing this out for maybe about six, seven years now. About actually seven years. I've been growing it out for seven years. I've trimmed it once. And uh, ladies, when you say, uh, <laughs> I got to do my hair, I totally understand that because me and my wife, when we're late for dinner, it's because we're both doing our hair. <laughs> so I, I totally understand. Yeah, it is It is different. It is. It takes me about a about good 40 minutes to do my hair every do you, time. Do you ever have those those uh, days where you're like, you know what, this might be the day that I just, you know. Never. 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 That's good. My wife, though, is almost every day where she wants to cut it, but <laughs> no, no. Yeah, you, don't, you know what, man? You got hair, you might as well, you know, flaunt it and use it. You know, I say flaunt it like he's bragging. It's you just hair, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> I love it, though. I love it. I, I, I don't know. Just one day what happened was I was at my wife's... Uh, uh, brother's wedding we were going in and, and I had a uh, it's called uh, got to be glue I don't know if you remember that that gel but it's actually glue gel oh and, wow and, and I ran out of it and I said well let's see what happens from here and seven years ago this, this, wow. this is what happened I ran out of hair gel oh did you see that story with that lady she she maybe she used that product but she ran out of it so she used I believe gorilla glue There's gorilla glue and then yeah messed up her clumps of hair yeah and... you could do that too yeah 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 mine was uh, actually a glue gel it was pretty cool Wow, I, I wrote some jokes during that time. I said, I wonder, do pilots use airplane glue? Hey -o. <laughs> <laughs> Do farmers use Elmer's glue? Do, 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 oh, do, do, yes. do, 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 Not my Elmer. <laughs> we're, always, we're always just doing jokes. Aren't I know, we? man. I love that. There's well, listen, no break. Let's I love go, it. Let's go have a good time. I want to say thank you. And uh, like we had lunch today, and it felt great to see you again. Yes. Hadn't seen you in probably a year and a half, maybe two years. Yeah, and, two years. And just some of the viewpoints you had at lunch, I was like, man, I got to get them to share this for my YouTube Appreciate channel. That, and it's just a positive experience. You know, we're all about bringing light to the world and, and bringing positivity. And, yes, yes. You know, and when you told me that story about the guy with the headphones, I'll make you right. You have no idea what people are going right. through. So, right. Thank you, guys. Please hit like. Please hit subscribe and come back to the, the channel for more. Darren Carter and Johnny's link will be below. You follow him on Instagram. And if you're ever in the Inland Empire, Check come to out. one of his shows. You definitely will love it. Everybody Thanks, guys. Everybody listen to Darren Carter. We all know. Party starter, so if you want to listen to a podcast for free, then listen to the pocket party.